Yeah, it's kind of been snowing out here. So, today, we're going to tell you how people like me stay warm for free. Kind of. Stick around. Oh, yeah. So, today, we're going to give you some free winter hacks. Not exactly free, kind of free. We're going to talk about how you can stay warm. So as a lot of y'all know, back in my day and through the years, I have lived in all kind of weird places. On a boat, in a storage building, outside, inside, on a motorcycle, under the trees, the stars, and the sky above. And just like I lived outside, there are seasons for everything seasons change. So, just like I lived outside, there was crickets and squirrels and other little creatures that lived outside. So let's start off with the story, the cricket and the squirrel. You know, the squirrel spends all summer long gathering its nuts and putting them up for winter. The cricket, hippie hop, enjoying his time. So as the winter comes and the cold wind blows and the snow settles down, the cricket freezes to death while the squirrel is setting his little log, eating his little nuts. Y'all liked how I wormed that in, didn't you? Okay, so let's talk about other animals that are out in the cold. There's homeless people. We was homeless people one time. You know, thousands of years ago, we didn't have, you know, electricity and propane and this and that. We had road two sticks together to make a fire. You know, there's people that live out in this. There's people that in Alaska with it being 40 below zero that live in this. And yeah, they have to stay warm. So what do they do to stay warm? They insulate. A homeless man lives in a cardboard box. The cardboard box is a type of insulation. A rich man lives in a mansion with many walls around him that are very well insulated. You know, they say that our climate is changing because of the greenhouse gases. So let's talk about greenhouse gases. Whether it's El Nino or this or that, we have greenhouse gases. A greenhouse always stays warmer. The radiant sun comes through the glass and heats the inside and it don't allow the heat to come back out. That's insulation. Even though there's no insulation, the radiation is insulation itself. The man that lives in the cardboard box the cardboard has a space in between. All it is is paper. Whether well, y'all know it or not, it's paper. And in between it is air. Just like a double hung window, in between two pieces of glass is an inert gas that acts like an insulation. So you gotta have the mindset. You got to insulate. You got to keep the cold out and the heat in. Whether you're riding a motorcycle, or you're trying to build a home, or you're trying to pitch a tent to stay warm, or whatever you got to have insulation you have to have some kind of insulation between the cold and the heat when you're riding motorcycles you know you dress in layers you don't want your sweat to make your skin wet or your clothes wet because then you get colder and hypothermia can set in same way with the tent when you make a tent you know i use a pup tent it's an old military tent two halves connected together all this is material so at the bottom there's a space so what do you do you dig a trench and put your tent below that and then put leaves or dirt at the side. That way when the rain comes down, it goes over. When the wind blows up, it goes over. If you can camp on a hill where the wind's going on top of the hill, the wind ain't hitting you. There you go. Insulation. The better you stop the wind from coming in, you know, the more you stop the wind and the cold from coming in, the more heat or the less heat you actually have to use. That's how a sleep bag works. It heats the inside of the sleeping bag. That's the reason bivvies work. It reflects the heat back in on yourself. Uh, one of the best insulations you can get is snow. It can never get colder than 32 degrees. How, how igloos work. Because whenever you build a fire inside an igloo, it melts the inner layer and makes a solid, air-free space of ice. And the more it melts, the thicker the ice gets. And then the snow on top of it is the insulation. So it's more of a mindset, you know, whenever I moved into my house, my electric bill, my deposit was twice the highest amount of electric bill. So I had to pay a deposit of over a thousand dollars. 
I said, oh no, that comes out to about five sixties of change every month, just on a lick. I ain't doing all that. I ain't doing it. Can't do it, Captain. Can't do it. So, I decided, you know, the first one I was here, I closed all the house up, but two rooms, and that's where I lived. It was easier to heat the two rooms, air, air proof the rooms, insulate the rooms, and live in those two rooms instead of the, the whole big old house. So, you say, well, that ain't free. Yeah, it is free because there's things you use. I'll tell you, waste not, won't not. You go to the grocery store, you bring home plastic bags. Okay, two costs 99 cents. I say kinda. In the intro, I say kinda people. You take, you know, you got an air gap or whatever. You take the bags, you stick them in the holes, you cock them on top of them. Instead of running five or six to the cock, and the whole time that little airspace, if you took on both sides, that airspace is insulated by those bags. You know, that's how a lot of things do work. Uh, it's a mindset. Waste not, want not. You have newspaper, you have these jars, all the stuff you look at all the stuff you throw in your trash. How can you So use anyway, until next time, stay free, get out here and see this big old world. Go see the beautiful snow. Live a little, laugh a little, love a little. Like and subscribe so you can get so free going. So you don't forget, hit that bell so you can tell when we are here.